Hi, welcome back. I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 78. We're still working through the basics of charting in Excel 2007. We'll add a couple of fancy things down the road, but let's get through a few more basics first. This is an easy one today. Last time we talked about data labels where we could uh, put the data right on top of the chart. We're going to turn that off, and the other way to put data right on the chart that you might find helpful is this data table. Right now it's obviously off. Let's turn it on with show data table. And what happens is right below Dr. A you see the values for April, May, and June that are graphed here. And you can see for Dr. B it went up and then down 363 to 423, 344. Again, if you've got physicians that are visual and want to see the pattern, others that want to see the hard data, this is a good combination of the two. The other thing you can do down here under data table is you can show the data table with the legend keys. And by doing that, see now what we've got is blue, red, and this kind of olive green color going here. So by doing that, what we can do is we could come over here and hide the legend because we don't need that anymore. Now I got a problem with this new UHC contract blocking my Dr. D data. But we can do lots of, I mean, just for the time being, oh, I don't want to do that. What I want to do is do this. And maybe we'll put it up there for the time being bury the top of our graph and see by moving the uh, data around we've moved ouch out of the way too but what we need to do is just use this data table so it's easy to see alright here's Dr. A here's the values and by putting the legend and incorporating that into the data table it, uh, it buys me more space on my chart is what it does it gives me a little more room to show the, the, the data and then as you could expect I can format the data table by right clicking let's see if I can just move this out of the way some of the fill and border color and styles and things like that are things you're going to be used to. Let's see if we can just now move this a little bit further out of the way. So you can see what's going on down here. We can remove the outline, which is this. We can remove the vertical lines and the horizontal lines. Or we, we'll just add them back one at a time so you can see what the outline, the vertical, the horizontal line looks like. And you can turn on or off the legend key that goes there and kind of replaces what we're looking for. Fill and border color and shadows in 3D format, all those kind of things are similar to what we've seen before. It's just another way to show data and the graphical information on the same chart and to replace the legend too if you'd like. Hope that was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.